What's going on everybody? Chris C. the Slasher Dude back with another video. Happy Slasher Saturday. I'm Chris C. the Slasher Dude. You can find me here on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Threads. And you can find me on Letterboxd under Chris C. Hoping everyone's having a great uh, Slasher Sunday, actually. Excuse me. So, Slasher Saturday on a Sunday. So, today's uh, Slasher Sunday, we're going to be talking about um, 1980s The Boogeyman. Um, I missed out on uh, the Vinegar Syndrome release on that with a slip. Um, people have mixed kind of feelings about this film. I love it. It's a paranormal slasher. It also predates a film in the mid-2000s called Oculus, but I'm going to get to that in a second. I hope everyone's having a great Slasher Sunday, and uh, we're going to get started with this uh, real quick. Uh, the Boogie Band, 1980, directed by uh, Billy Lamel, stars Susan Love as uh, Lacey. Um, Susan Love is married to the director, Uli Lamel. Um, interesting director, has done some interesting stuff, so kind of trippy cat. Uh, Nicholas Love, who's her brother in real life, plays her brother as, uh, as Willie. John Carradine as uh, Dr. Warren. And uh, El Ewellyn Thomas as Father Riley. Uh, filmed in Maryland and Paramount Ranch in uh, California, my neck of the woods. Um, so this farmhouse which, and they did this on purpose, is a lot like the Amityville house. Specifically from the back, they did that on purpose. This is an Amityville-type film. <laughs> you got everything here. You have the priest. You have this paranormal, demonic-type presence here. So let's get on with the story here real quick, the quick synopsis of this film. Uh, this brother and sister were living with their mom as children and stuff like that, too. The father left, did whatever, so the mom is taking care of um, Obviously, the mom seems to be a bitch. And um, she's doing these sexual things with her, uh, with her boyfriend. Um, the kids are peeking at it and stuff like that through the window. She has the boyfriend uh, tie up the brother to the bed. And um, the little sister unties the brother and then he kills the boyfriend with this, uh, this butcher knife. And um, in front of this mirror and all of a sudden it starts. And it goes to many years later, they're adults, uh, she's married, um, he's like mute, doesn't talk whatsoever, big, big farm boy type of person, and just doesn't talk, living, I think, with their, um, with this elderly couple on this farm. I didn't finish it the first time, then I finished up the rest of it last night. And all of a sudden, they get a call from their mother saying she wants to see him before she passes. Um, she, she does, they inherit the mirror that was at that place, um... And then something happens where the mirror falls and it just shatters and all this other stuff too. So the husband <laughs> decides to be really smart and reconstruct the mirror. And then something is mentioned when you uh, break a mirror, the presence of this violent crime that happens gets, gets brought back to life basically. So the boyfriend that was killed, it's a demonic demon, gets reconstructed or comes back after... The broken mirror is put back together, like a bad luck thing. Some shards get spread out, um, really good kills. It's definitely a paranormal slasher. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, so I, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. I gave it um, I gave it uh, 4 out of 5 stars and a heart on Letterboxd. Um, I suggest you check it out. Um, I was highly impressed for that, like I say, done in 1980. Um, probably the what hit wonder of this, uh, this director. Um, he kind of comes, comes from good lineage himself and stuff like that, so, um, but I would recommend it. Slasher Dude highly recommends it. That's The Boogeyman. I saw this on Shudder. Very good, uh, streaming platform for horror. Um, I highly suggest that. And, um, yeah, that's my quick thoughts and review on this, uh, Slasher Sunday, excuse me, of, uh, 1980s The Boogeyman. Anyway, I'm Chris C., The Slasher Dude. You all have a great Sunday. By the way, I'm doing a 50, uh, watch... Uh, 50 films that I own challenge before I buy anything else. So that's kind of a, cha uh, a challenge and a goal I put down for myself. So expect uh, expect more views of stuff in, in the near future and future content. Anyway, I'm Chris C., the Slasher Dude. You all have a great Slasher Sunday. I will see you all next time. <laughs> yeah, don't break any mirrors. Just throw them away in the well, please.